My name is Zakaria S. Fare. I'm 24 years old and I am a traveler. A lot of people have been asking me why you are going to Brazil. My answer was I want to travel around this big country without fear. Most of them they think that I am crazy, including family members. In a way, I might be. I keep sharing my destination with a lot of friends, and every time the same reaction, you are crazy. Then, it was time to fly to Tunisia and then Brazil. I left everything behind me home, family, friends. And I took the first step to travel and discover the world. And my main reason was, life is short. My passion was sport and travel. And then, I started thinking of a way to combine both of my patients. That's how I ended up riding my bike on trip. The first journey was from Salvador Bahia to Sao Paulo, Brazil. That's a 2,500 kilometers of a distance. It was so good as a testing experience. And then I decided to buy equipment to travel again. I have a bachelor's degree in business administration, but I didn't want to get a job to quit after. I have always followed my dreams and my passion and escaped all sorts of boring life. Why traveling by bike? Well, first and foremost, it's cheap. You can go and stop almost wherever you want. To be more connected to nature, as you can feel the weather change every day. I decided cycling around Brazil to do something different and to see how that will impact my mentality. I have been living on my bicycle for a year now and I meet a lot of people. And just like my friends and the relatives back in my country, ask me why am I doing this? The answer is killing the routine, the enemy of time. Every passing second, your brain is learning something new, and that is the only thing that proves that you don't stop growing. As we get older, our brain figures out how the world works, how we make money, how we graduate school, how we have kids, and how we transfer legacy to the coming generation. Once you are an adult, you choose an adventure for your own life. It's not about the bike. It's about how we make my own life a one-of-a-kind story. That's what I'm doing here. I don't want my days to control me. That's why I'm doing this bike tour. I don't want my calendar to be my boss. I want to control my days. I want to choose an adventure that I go on. In a sense, it turned my 100 years on this planet into a thousand. That's why I'm doing this bike trip. The more you move, the more you experience. I meet people asking me about fear to sleep in a tent to be alone in some place in the forest. In reality, I feel safe on the road or forest more than to be in city. Let me tell you, 
never let you fear guide you in that case you end up running away from yourself the biggest journey is inside you for this you don't want to run away all the time I feel and think that it is very sad that most of us are too focused on money and not the real meaning of life. Actually, when you love, you live, time fly, and it stops for those who are hopeless, and it becomes eternal for those who love. Travel. We travel initially to lose our fake challenges. We travel then to find our true selves. We learn about the world more than what we read in newspaper and what we watch in news. We travel to leave our stereotype behind us to see the world from a new perspective. We will learn that a lot of things we were seeing as essential are actually temporary and limited the most important thing is to feel as if we are newly born we travel to fall in love the difference between the common definition of falling in love and traveling is that one is a relation a relationship with a human and the other one is with an experience every trip to a new place can be a love relationship. We travel to regain the hope we lost. We travel to be closer to people, closer to reality, closer to happiness, closer to us. You are supposed to do only what you choose to do. The world is vast and full of possibility. Follow your bliss. Get out of your comfort zone. Stop looking for a reason why you can't. And look for a reason why you can't.